Hello Virgo, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your messages from Spirit Reading and it will be for May 2021 for the sign of Virgo. Remember it won't resonate with everybody so just take what resonates with you and remember these are just messages Virgo. These can just be messages. Okay, so what do we have for Virgo? We'll pull a few oracle cards and then we'll pull some tarot cards. Message for our lovely Virgos please for May 2021. What is the message from Spirit please? Angels, Spirit's Guides. Okay. Well, very precise. We have look forward Virgo. For those of you who aren't looking forward, there's definitely an energy of now is the time to look forward. Okay, message from Spirit, please, Angels, Spirit's Guides for Virgo, May 2021, thank you. What does Virgo need to hear, thank you? So we have ground yourself. Being distracted, unfocused, tired, irritated and impatient are all signs that you're ungrounded. Now is the time to become centred and allow spirit to help you ground yourself and to reconnect with the divine source. This is about finding your roots. It might well be for some of you, you're reconnecting to family. People who give you grounding, support. Okay. What do we have for Virgo, please? Angels, Spirits, Guides. Message for Virgo. Thank you. I love this card. We have, see, it's the seed, it's the egg. You know, we have the six, number six, birth of creation. There's potential growth. Potential growth is available to you this month. Birth of something new, very Empress energy. Okay, two cards there, Virgo. So the first one is Lama, set clear boundaries and enforce them. Archangel Shamuel. Okay, that's the first card. And we have Bear, use power with wisdom. Archangels Uriel and Jophiel. Okay, nice messages there, Virgo. So just let me put those down. And we'll pull some tarot cards and see what we get. So I'm going to pull three cards in total. What do we have for Virgo, please? Angels, Spirits, Guides. Message for Virgo for May 2021. Starting with the message from Spirit. One more shuffle message for our lovely Virgos thank you okay card is out oh wow <laughs> wow love the sun and I especially love it in a spirit message reading because the sun is literally shining on you the sun is divine energy I love that energy okay justice card of Libra five of swords <laughs> I look to the bottom of the deck, Virgo, and I've got the Empress. Well, so Virgo, things are about to get a whole lot better if they're not right now, because the sun is a card of positivity, um, happiness, joy, uplifting energy. It affects your energy, your mood. Um, so this is about awakening with joy from the inside out now this child looks innocent but he's full of some lessons wisdom experience and is fully clear in terms of where they're going and how to get there uh, so there's a real enlightenment here um, it can be a card of success and abundance the sun card um, but it's just a card of things feeling good, beginning to grow. It can be a liberation energy as well, Virgo. Uh, but it's a kind of good news, celebration, joy, happiness. So I love this energy. I absolutely love the sun card. Now, 
Well, it could be in relation to justice. Now, this could be about things going in your favour to do with a legal decision or government decision. Um, justice is generally an element of, if it's to do with legal institutions or government institutions, it can be a decision that restores balance that's in the light of truth. So for some of you, you could be getting some justice. And it's what it's doing, it's good news and it's allowing you to liberate. It's feeling good and move forward to the next part of your journey, which is beautiful. Planting new seeds for future growth. I love the energy of this. Justice is also a card of, of balance. It's a card of reap what you sow. You might have been dealing with a Libra as well. So, you know, those can be those energies too. Um, but it, it feels in this situation... Whatever obstacle you faced here, you are releasing it. You're letting go. There are good times ahead. Five of swords can be conflict, disagreements, winners and losers. And again, could be to do with justice. There's a feeling of you winning here if it's to do with a legal situation. Um, but it can also be, you know, justice can be a karmic thing. Actions have consequences. You know, what people say, what people do, how people act. This conflict has had a consequence on you. You know, this can be about bad feeling, resentment, a victory that comes at a cost. Call it what you will. But it feels in this energy that whatever has happened here, you are doing the right thing for you and just allowing yourself to put it behind you and stepping into your light once more. And I love this energy, Virgo, because I did say the Empress, didn't I? Potential growth. The fact she's come out is a powerful energy of planting new seeds for future growth. She's all about creation, the birth of something new. Um, very good in terms of love areas or money areas as well. But she's a card of not feeling lack, allowing yourself to just be in your own skin and feeling abundant not feeling lack anymore so you know it's a lovely lovely abundant energy it's a nurturing energy if you tend to the seeds there's real promise of growth something beautiful to grow here um lovely lovely energy here virgo i have to say um but it feels in this situation either somebody someone's actions has consequences either legal consequences or you know consequences that may have brought about the actions of you putting it behind you and stepping into your light planting new seeds for future growth so it feels in this situation there is such an abundant energy around you the divine energy is shining on you, lighting the path before you. And this is about you stepping into your power once more, being filled with happiness and joy. Lovely, lovely energy. So I'm going to pull a final card, message from heaven. And it feels like you're ready to look forward, you know? feels like where some this person was looking back... It just feels what that justice is doing is allowing you to move forward in whatever situation this is. Oh my goodness. So we have changes can bring you new life and energy. We will hold your hand. Oh my goodness. Isn't that lovely? Number 25. Love the energy, Virgo. So I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you do, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful month for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.